and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so thrilled about auto. I can't wait for the new season to start. So I think it's time to ease our summer outfits into our autumn outfits. And that particularly means the time and the season of Gossip Girl, of preppiness, of adding that layer, adding that cardigan, having those pleats and just everything. I hope that you enjoy this kind of style because I came up with 12 preppy outfits ideas or 15, a lot of preppy outfit ideas that you can start wearing right now and ease into the autumn season. They're all kind of Gossip Girl inspired and hopefully all wearable. I really tried to consider a few more modest lengths while still keeping my short skirts and shorts out, trying to keep out my legs as long as possible and then adding that cardigan or that jacket on top. I think you're just going to, you know, get the whole vibe and fall in love with it. But yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. If you're new to my channel today, I am Anna and I post fashion styling videos every single week on my channel and chances are a lot of them are Gossip Girl inspired. So if you do enjoy this type of content, then definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you want to see all of the outfits styled up and be able to save the pictures and outfit inspos, then also make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post my outfits almost every single day. All right, let's head into it. Okay, so I'm starting off with this little outfit. This is such a dream come true to me. So first of all, let's please talk about the skirt. The skirt, I'm sure, is going to be a staple building block piece in my autumn winter wardrobe. It's perfect for transitioning. It's also quite wearable to work, I think, because it's actually short. So there are shorts underneath, and then we have these gorgeous pleats, which as you can see, they are a bit tighter than they flare out. It really has that structure to it. It looks so preppy and chic and I just absolutely love it. The color is this like beautiful beigey taupey tone making it perfect to pair with whites and creams and browns and just everything. My whole color palette in autumn winter. So I'm just so happy with this look. I paired this with this button-up shirt which is from an other stories. This one is a couple of years old. I'm going to do my best and try to link something similar with everything that I show in today's video. I'll always link everything that I show and if that's out of stock, I will try to link something similar. And then I just <laughs> popped this little tweed jacket on top. I think this is so cute and makes this outfit much more autumnal. And I just think it works really well together overally without looking too much. And then I just flung this cute little nude shoulder bag. I think this is just the perfect way of finishing this up and also picking up the color of the skirt again. And then as in true Gossip Girl tradition, I'm wearing last season's Terry Birch flats. Um, just kidding, but these are my uh, Terry Birch flats that I bought in the outlet and I'm sure Blair would very much disapprove of that, but I love them. They're pink and they have the Tory Burch logo, and I really like them. I like that they add a pop of color into this outfit, but it still keeps everything quite neutral and muted, but yeah, just really girly and feminine. And I just know this outfit is going to be one of my outfits that I reach for every single day. Outfit number two is here to serve the very Chanel vibe, so I went really classic with this one. This is my new cardigan from Massimo Dutti. It's the perfect transitional piece because it is a cotton knit, so it does add a layer of warmth, but it's short sleeve, so it's great for popping on just now when it's still fairly warm out and you don't want to go for your cardigans and heavy knits. And this is just the perfect thing for in between, and you could also layer this up really easily. I'm just wearing this one as a top close up right now. And then I have paired this with a very pretty little skirt, which is from Asus. It's basically a sport, so it's actually shorts and they are a bit loose fit around the bum, which is great, which makes them more appropriate to wear in like different scenarios. They have this little slit and they just look like a skirt from the front, short at the back, and yeah, it's just really comfortable. These are so stretchy and I think you can really easily transform them into winter by pairing this one with tights. And I have just popped on some flats. These are my little ballet flats, very Chanel inspired as well. They're nude and black and I just really liked how the black of the cap picked up the piping of the shirt and the color of the skirt. Just think it gives a very round image to it. And then I've added my DNG to pick up the nude from the shoes and I think this is the outfit that perfectly resembles the 
recolor rule. And yeah, I'm just really happy with it. And I think this is one of those timeless outfits that I can't really imagine would ever go out of style. If I could, I would name this outfit Chloe Cold and they want their outfit back. I just love it. It is everything that I want for an autumn wardrobe. And yeah, I just see myself wearing this all over. I think this would be a perfect wearable Gossip Girl outfit. Something they would wear to school, but also it's a bit more wearable because we're not having the usual navy uh, school uniform color scheme, but we're having cream and brown, which is just perfect. The blouse is from Guilia. It has all of these cute ruffles and new tails and also this bow that you could also detach if that was too much for you. And then you have the gorgeous buttons that really have their moment. I have paired this with this cute little brown pleated skirt that just picks up the color of the bow. I think that really nicely combines everything. And then of course I have popped my Chloe back with it. I just think the blouse has a certain Chloe vibe to it and it even gets more enhanced by adding these little accessories to it. So my Chloe bag just couldn't match any better because again we have got the brown and then a more like new creamy shade that is in contrast with it. So that just finishes off so nicely and then I have paired my new babies with this, which are a pair of Chloe trainers. And yes, I know that is a really bougie. You could wear any like white or off-white creamy trainer would look absolutely amazing with this. But I just thought these were so cute. And if there are a pair of trainers out there in the world, that would be me, then it would be these trainers. So I had to get them and I know they're just going to add on every single outfit from now on. Just love it so much and I feel like it makes me excited to wear trainers and sneakers which I never thought would happen but yeah it's just so comfortable, easy to wear and they look really cute as well. But be assured I have many more ways of how to style this. You could also easily wear this with boots so I'm going to pull them out just for you. Next up I've got this outfit and this is everything to me. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite. I'm sure, I, I know, I am aware I've said that about all of the outfits so far, but I'm just really in love with all of them. So I'm going to start again with the skirt. You've seen that before in the first outfit. Only this time I've prepared this with this top, which is from Mango. It has these crisscross details on the top, and I just think it's so cute. It's really nicely knitted, and it perfectly matches the color of the skirt. So when I pair these two together, it almost looks like a dress, which just doubles my use out of everything. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. It looks so cute. And I love that it's kind of modest, but then kind of not. If you get what I mean, I just think it's a really Serena-inspired look because I have also just flung over this cardigan which is from Massimo Dutti and this again just screams Gossip Girl to me. We have the gold buttons, it looks really preppy, it looks really chic and you could also button this up and have like a double double look with it. So you get two looks just for one outfit which I think is great because if you do button it up it just looks like a jumper or more intentional and I just really like it as well. I like how the pleats stick out once you have everything um, buttoned up and I have paired this with these cute little slim bags which are from a German brand. I will leave the link down below but they are a perfect dupe for the Gucci slim bags. I think it looks so cute. I love how the gold buckle picks up the buttons and everything just really nicely matches together. I have then also decided to go with my Clutch Tabby bag. I think this is the cutest bag to just go with it. It has a slightly more casual vibe to it than um, my shoulder bag or my DNG or anything. So I really like how the more casual bag on this kind of goes with the shoes, but then also creates a bit of balance. So yeah, overall one of my all-time favorite looks, I would say. So next up I have this very classic outfit formula, but somehow it always seems to work for me. So I'm starting off with the jumper. It's just a very softly knitted basic camel jumper, things like that you can always use in your wardrobe. It's really thin, but so soft and nice. It's really thin, but that makes it great for layering, as I've done with the blouse underneath. You can see the color poking out. It's the same green blouse that I wore earlier, which has the pleats on the sleeves. And it might look a bit boxy and not perfect. You could use any blouse underneath. But I just think, again, because both of these layers are so thin, you can easily combine it. If it gets too hot during the day, you could just take it off and wrap it around your shoulders. I have it just flung over you, just like that. I've paired this with a pair of tweed shorts. I just think this is such a nice way to ease into 
autumn with these kind of tweedy fabrics. This I actually got during spring from Zara. I hope they still have it. I had that in my spring edit, but I could imagine they have something very similar right now. So I'm going to leave that link down below. The quality of this is definitely a bit thinner, probably because it was from the summer collection. It's nice and breathable for right now, but it probably will get a bit cold as you get more into the winter months. So I'm going to try and find a warmer version to link down below. I have just paired this with my favorite combo, which is the nude boots and the nude bag. I just think it's a formula that just always works for me and whatever I pair on top, it just always works with these two accessories. So if you really have to decide on like one bag and one pair of shoes to get for the season, this would be my recommendation because it just goes with everything. And yeah, and overall, I would say this is the perfect preppy look that also looks a bit more mature and like you could be a rich mom. <laughs> I think it's safe to say we have fully landed in autumn with this outfit. Honestly, I can't wait to wear these kind of things again. I'm wearing something that feels so typical and usual for me, which is a knitted little co-ed set. This one's from Mango and it was in my Mango haul, so in case you haven't seen that, I'm going to leave that link. But it's just so pretty, it's cream, it got all the beautiful texture, it got these cute little buttons and I just tucked in the cardigan. I think that just looks so cute together and in overall they are just such a cute little set. It's also great for layering, you could pop a trench coat on top, you could pop a little wool wrap coat, just basically anything on top and it would just go so nicely. I've just paired it with tan because I think there's no better color combination than cream and tan, but I think it would also go really nicely with nudes, with a darker brown tones and like a chocolatey brown, um, with burgundy. I could, there are just so many ways I could imagine of styling this little set. I have popped my little Teddy Blake bag with it and my Fairfax and Favor boots um, and they're a bit hard for me to show. I'm going to try like that. So these are the 10 um, Fairfax and Favor boots that I got last season and to me they are everything I could wish for in an autumn boot. They're tan, they're suede, they have the gold buckle, they have the gold zips. Um, the heel height, I, I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit higher than what I usually wear but I do feel quite secure in these heels, like I can easily walk on them. The only thing I do struggle with is um, bending my knee at the back side because it really comes up right into my knee. But I really, really love these. I, I just think they're, they're so gorgeous. And then I have paired this with my little beret just to add a bit of drama. And this is from a little Instagram shop called Brothers and Sisters. And they just have the cutest like Parisian chic berets. And this one has a very dramatic bow at the back, which I just think Oh, it just adds so much of the Parisian vibes and yeah, I just really want to go to, to Paris and sit in like a cute little street cafe and watch people. I think this outfit would be perfect for that. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, so next up I've got this outfit. Again, I think you will be happy to see the skirt again. I just love it so much and I think it is important to show multiple ways of wearing things and this outfit for me is so epiphany of preppy but wearable. I love these types of looks. I wear them all of the time and I feel very comfortable com and I do feel very confident wearing them out. So I'm starting off with this little jacket which is Guilia part of the little two-piece set. Only now I have paired this with a little top which is also from Guilia. It's a silk and wool blend so it's also great for layering. I love the ruffles at the front. They really remind me of that typical Blair Waldorf look with a high pussy bow blouse sticking out underneath a cardigan, only done a bit different, a bit more modern and a bit less, less preppy but more wearable. And then the pleats obviously sticking out. I just love the color combination of the white and the neutral, which I've just kept with my accessories as well. So I'm wearing my little D&G bag and then just some flat little belly flats in this perfectly matching nude color. And yeah, I'm really happy with this outfit. Plus it's also quite affordable, um, especially the shoes are super affordable. So I'm going to leave them linked down below. But yeah, this outfit to me is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> My next outfit goes really well with the color combination of a camels and whites again. I can't even begin to describe this jacket. It is from Mango. It is the most stunning tweed jacket I have ever tried on. Do you see these buttons? They are so beautiful and they have these little like gemstones, which makes it look just so luxurious and a bit of Bulgari vibes. I just absolutely 
I fell in love with this jacket. I think I'm never going to love a tweed jacket as much as I do this. I think that might be harsh to say, but it is rare finding these pieces. And I decided it would be cool to try this on with an all white base. Because typically you would wear this probably with like a camel jumper and a black little skirt. But I just wanted to combine this in a more light and bright way. So the blouse that I'm wearing is just a very simple white blouse with this color that I have tucked on top. Just so that you add to the preppy vibes. It also makes it look a bit more gossip girl and you know just really put together. And then I have paired this with this white little skirt or skirt. It's actually shorts so I'm going to say white shorts. Um, but these are just really really cute. They also have these little buttons. You barely don't even see them when you have got the tweed jacket on top so they definitely don't clash each other but even if you do they're both gold so they look pretty fine together and for my shoes I was actually very much debating whether to put on the white little sling bags that I have on right now or my beige loafers I think both work just as fine and I debated whether I should just come up with you know one loafer and one sling bag here but I think you get the picture of the outfit better that way. I think this way looks a bit more gossip girl and a bit more preppy for the sake of the video but you could definitely also just wear it with a pair of loafers. I'm going to leave some link down below that would match this just as well and make it more wearable and casual. And then I've just flung over a cute little shoulder bag. I think these are so gossip girl because they're kind of you know tiny and impractical curl so I think they're perfect to be cast on as a girl but I've done out of this little belt which is from Coach just to kind of break up the old white look. I'm not saying the look needs it but it is a nice touch and it does add a bit of more interest to the outfit so so this is definitely one of the more relaxed and casual looks. I just think this is one of the outfits that is really wearable and still in the proper direction, just a bit more modern. So I'm wearing this absolutely stunning cardigan, which is on my similar duty. I have fallen in love with this. This is perfect. It's white and then all, oh, I should say cream, and then it has these navy stripes and the gold buttons running through. The quality of this is incredible. It just feels so soft and snug against the skin. This could honestly be loungewear and it's that comfortable and it's incredible so I think there are a lot of you who could actually see themselves wearing this kind of thing non-stop during autumn winter and I just really love it. I think this would also look cute with a little beret or like a cute little mini scary There are a million ways you could style this. I have decided to go for a pair of satin shorts. I think these are a really nice way of wearing these. They are pretty much tailored and they have this beautiful satin button as well. I think this would also look great if you wore the cardigan open and then just have a little top underneath. But I feel like this is just a more relaxed way of wearing it. And then the shorts themselves are a bit longer. So again, it's a bit more wearable. You have the loafers. These are the ones I've been talking about before. Just some cute little nude loafers with a gold buckle to pick up the buttons. And then I went with the pretty much off duty vibe and just added my coach tabby back on top. I think in overall this outfit is everything you could ask for on like a Sunday running errands or you could be Serena dashing to Blair to watch breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, but yeah, I just really love this outfit. You could go feeding the ducks in a park in it. I, I love it. I think it is so cute. It's still very Parisian. It's still very chic and it's still preppy, but definitely more wearable. This is the most gossip girl and also my favorite outfit. I just, I can't. This I just put together in a whims. So I didn't even plan to include it in this video, but I just, I can't get over it. So the fact that this is one of the most affordable outfits makes this even better. The cardigan that I'm wearing is obviously the centerpiece and it is just beautiful. It has this gorgeous taupey color and I've paired this with a cream little blouse just so to have the pussy bow tucked out on top and the cardigan itself is from H&M. Same as the skirt, just one more is from H&M, um, just a white little tweed skirt. I think this is definitely one of those autumn staples and just all together it's so gossip girl. So I've paired some sling bags with it, um, with the white little cap just to give it more of a Chanel roundup and then to go for Blair, I went with a little matching headband. I just think that is so cute. It's also silky, like a satiny fabric. It just adds a bit of glam to the outfit. And then of course my DNG, because how could I not? And yeah, and this would be my next outfit. This is what I see when I think of a preppy outfit. I feel like this is just everything. 
and it's so simple and it's also very very affordable i honestly this look is everything so obviously the centerpiece of this outfit is this gorgeous jumper which says paris it's this beautiful creamy color it's also so soft i love it and then it also has these gold buckles it is from h&m and it is just so cute i'm wearing a size extra small in it so i think you can definitely size down with this jumper i've popped a little pussy bow blouse underneath because i just thought it would be so cute of the color stuck out and I just think it matches so well and then I'm just wearing a little pleated skirt to kind of stick out and give it a bit of shape. I just think it's so cute and then the bag again a cute little shoulder bag just something very easy that you can just kind of flung over and then my little belly flats. I just think this look is everything. It's a 10 out of 10 if I do say so myself and it somehow is very different to what I usually wear and that somehow is very much what I usually wear so yeah I just I really love it and I feel like it's also so easy to wear these types of looks so yeah finally a look I couldn't wait to show you I think this is probably my favorite and I've realized now I've said that about every single outfit in the video but I just love them all so much and I'm just so happy that everything just came together so beautifully so I'm wearing a very simple but yet effective white tweed dress. It has short sleeves and the most stunning neckline. There's so much I love about this dress. It was in my H&M haul. I'm going to leave that linked. And yeah, I just, I absolutely adore this dress. It is so beautiful. And then I've just flung over this white tweed jacket to match it and to add a layer of warm. Um, this one is from Mango. It is not 100% the same fabric but it does come quite close and I don't think you could actually tell or I don't think anyone would ever say it's mismatched. I think it just goes so well together. I think it is very beautiful and this is one of these outfits that I just know they will always be in style, they will always be in fashion and you will just always always gravitate towards these because there's not, not a day I could imagine this ever being expired. I have got my DNG back with it and then my little ballet flats with the nude and the black to go for the extra Chanel vibes and yeah I just really love this look. I think it is absolutely stunning and I'm just really obsessed with it. So guys these were all of my preppy outfit ideas although I'm not nearly done. My closet is still full of things that I combine into super cute preppy outfits so let me know if you would like a part two because I enjoyed filming this one so much and I'll say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.